All right, everyone, Feminist Frequency has joined BitChute. That is right, officially, BitChute tweeting it out and everything. Feminist Frequency, which at this point is basically Anita Sarkeesian's podcast, I guess, with a YouTube channel, kind of, uh, has joined BitChute. Now, Razorfist pointed something out, and I, I think he's probably correct, that this is a stunt whereby, you know, she's joining BitChute, but, you know, essentially just putting the stuff there, screen capping abusive comments and then there's going to be like a pity me party at some point oh well this site is terrible it needs to be destroyed feel sorry for me please donate and stuff like that I, I think that's probably the case but let me hazard another possible reason why this would happen check feminist frequency sh social blade at some point now feminist frequency after the big rigmarole years ago lost a lot of steam lost a lot of support because people got pissed off you know what had been basically a front for hey you know uh women should be equal essentially in, in a more third wave form maybe uh, became basically bitching about microaggressions and so it rubbed people the wrong way including a lot of females i'm sure and, and sort of fell flat recently though it had begun to like stabilize a bit but now it's gotten its head shoved under again feminist frequency has run afoul of the same algorithmic changes on youtube that i have that razor fist has that Lionel, that everyone has if you do political commentary then unless you are specifically given the moniker priority creator that means you're jimmy kimmel you're casey nice you're one of the special beautiful people of youtube which means you're a corporate pawn in some way or you're a corporation unless you're a corporation or a corporate pawn the algorithms are no longer feeding new users to your material as much youtube the visible side of youtube for for the purposes of someone who doesn't know who you are already is essentially the priority creators club a few tens of thousands of sanitized very G-rated people that do, like, the, the I fucking love science or something like that. Uh, stuff that's very, very boring. It's sort of last gen. It's it's not hip or edgy. It's, it's for the preppy kids, essentially. It's for the little kids. That's basically what you find on YouTube. Hell, I find it when I search. I was, I search for fucking dark wave music and I see a bunch of gaming videos and it's invariably from the same dozen or so sh uh, shitty creators that aren't even independent in nature. You know, I wonder who signs their checks. That's all I can say. I mean, I, I guarantee they're not a solo brand. So let me let me just uh, suspend disbelief for a moment here and posit another explanation. That feminist frequency realizes that Anita Sarkeesian actually has come to realize, hey, YouTube is throttling me too. Oh, shit, people are right. YouTube is going to kill itself maybe as a platform. I think that might take a chunk out of my income. Maybe I should probably try to get on this other site that seems to be doing pretty well. By the way, some people are like, well, this would be a big problem. She's going to attack BitChute. But yeah, maybe so. But BitChute can't start by saying, well, this individual can't use the platform because we think she might have ulterior motives. Oh, that would destroy the platform. Yeah, at that point, I would say, hmm, maybe I shouldn't be using BitChute either because, <laughs> because as one of its biggest creators because it wouldn't have any respect for free expression. Yes, you have to let even scummy people express themselves on BitChute and on any other tech platform that wants to cast itself as free speech. Yes, you have to have commentary that you disagree with. Otherwise, BitChute would rightfully get labeled a far-right echo chamber. But if you have Anita, Anita Sarkeesian, who's going to label her far-right? There's the whole thing. It is kind of beneficial, assuming that this isn't some hit, hit piece in making, which is entirely possible, that this is bad faith. Assuming it's not, it's actually really great for Bitchu. Because then other people eventually see it. What I would say is Anita Sarkeesian should make a show specifically about Bitchu, put it on YouTube. And drag a bunch of feminists onto the platform. Why not? Why shouldn't they have a seat at the table of Altec? Everyone should. Everyone should have a Bitchu channel, from the, from the greatest to the least among us. Everyone should have one. You should join me on BitChute, link in the description, just like you should join me everywhere else. At this point, if you're only following me on YouTube, chances are you're not even seeing half the shit that I make. You're not getting notified of it. By the way, you should definitely be sharing out links uh, across platform anyway to my content if you want my channel to keep growing at all and you like the content. That helps me more than anything else because YouTube's not showing people my material. You try searching for stuff that I'm covering same day and filtering for today or last hours, and you're not going to see me at all. I'm not there. You go through and you're, you might occasionally you might see me in recommended videos. Not very often, though. YouTube has just decided that entire channels are wrong think at this point. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's at least a possibility that Anita Sarkeesian said, well, you know, it's affecting me too. I guess it would be nice to keep growing. It would be nice to actually put the message out somewhere where people can be notified that it's actually there.
where the search... Uh, one thing, though, BitChute desperately needs to fix its search function. The biggest problem that I have on BitChute is that if you don't type in exactly the right thing, you get no results. Any spelling errors whatsoever. Think about my username. I'm StixHexandHammer666. There are a lot of ways you can misspell that. So for somebody like me, as opposed to, let's, let's say your name was Tom. Nice short and sweet, Tom. Okay, you probably, it's going to be hard to misspell that. Oh my god, I thought it had two M's this whole time. Shit, you know, I was missing out on his videos for last week. Fuck me. Uh, Sticks Hexenhammer 666, a little bit different. So yeah, I, I, I do care about BitChute's search function. They need to adopt a search function that allows for a couple mistakes and it'll find the closest approximations and put them out anyway. Like, what? I mean, it's fairly straightforward. And I understand, BitChute, it's not exactly a major operation. Maybe Ray should hire a few more staff. With the amount that the site's growing and the lack of overhead because of the P2P structure of it, you'd think, you know, at some point you're going to need a little bit more help. You could become a, a fairly major tech firm. I mean, look at the Alexa ranking. It's been rising and rising. More and more people are getting tired of mainstream tech. Not because the mainstream tech is, uh, it's a boring or there's any problem. It's just that you can't get ahead on it. Newcomers to YouTube can't get ahead. It's not like five years ago, some person with a random viral video all of a sudden finds themselves at the precipice of fame or something like that. That's sort of what happened to me. You know, it was the election. I started doing election analysis. People enjoyed it. I happened to be really right on, you know, my predictions through the last midterms especially. Yeah, hundreds of people were subscribing every day. Now I'm lucky if it's not a negative total some days or barely breaking even because YouTube has demoted my material so heavily. I'm glad I wouldn't be growing at all if I didn't have an alt tech presence. I truly believe that. I truly believe that at this point more people are finding out about me on alt tech or on some other site and then joining me on YouTube after. I strongly believe that. I think I'd be dead in the water if not for the fact that I was a, a major figure on places like BitChute and Mines. So yeah, you should uh, definitely have accounts on all these and Anita Sarkeesian should too. It'd be crazy. F from a branding perspective, it would be dumb not to have an alt tech presence. It doesn't make any sense. I don't understand that, like, even, though, even the, the woke wonks of the left, which is what I've started to call them, the woke wonks, they're not really pundits per se. They just sort of weigh in on sociopolitical issues habitually, like they, they verbally masturbate on Twitter, especially, like a Will Sommer or something. The woke wonks, by and large, don't have a presence on these platforms that they claim to know so much about in their analysis. Oh, what a big mistake you're making. Oh, what a huge mistake. Even if you take nonstop flack when you're on them, you should at least have a presence there. Build a little bit of a foothold on the next generation of tech, or you're going to be left behind. Although that might not be too bad a thing with some of these people, like maybe a, a data society thing or a Vox. Yeah, go ahead. Don't make any accounts on BitChute. Fucking ignore the platform. Ignore that Mines and Gab exist. By the way, Mastodon right now in an open war with Gab that they're losing. That Gab is going to break through containment again, and it's going to be hilarious. The Gab social network era has begun, so you should get on there too. That's about all. Peace out.